Hey everyone and welcome back to reconvert. This is Eric and in today's video I'm going to show you how to add upsell items to the original order instead of creating new orders like we've done so far. By default, whenever a customer chooses to take on an upsell, reconvert creates a new order for that customer. Today we are releasing a new option to add the upsell items to the original order using the order editing API. In order to add upsells to the original order, just head over to the reconvert dashboard. At the top menu, select settings, general settings, and scroll all the way down to order settings. Now, as you can see, by default, it's set to create a new order, but we want to add the upsell items to the original order. So I'm just gonna select this option. Now, some additional options show up in here. First, we're going to have to choose for which of the following orders items will be added to the original orders and in which ones we're going to create a new order. By default, reorder is unchecked and going to create a new order and I'm going to keep it the same as it is. If we keep scrolling down, we're going to see the item's reserve time. Whenever customer chooses an upsell, it's going to be redirected to the checkout to complete the payment for the additional items. Sometimes, just like abandoned carts and abandoned checkouts, the customer is not going to complete the order. And in order to prevent a mismatch in analytics, fulfillment, and payment statuses, we've added this option to remove additional items if the payment wasn't completed during the item's reserve time. But you don't have to use this feature. If you want to keep items forever, you can just hit zero. And now items will be saved forever and will not be removed from the order. Now, for the sake of the example, I'm going to set it up to one hour. Moving down the settings, we're going to see the option to handle manual payment methods. As we mentioned before, the way for us to decide whether or not to remove the added item is based on the payment status of that product. Whenever using manual payment methods, such as cash on delivery, afterpay, Klarna, and more, the payment status might not change until the customer gets the product, even if it shows to complete the order. In order to avoid fulfillment mess up and analytic mismatch, we're giving you the option to either create a new order or hide the widget when a manual payment method is used during checkout. For the sake of the example, I'm just gonna keep it with create a new order. The last part we need to configure is handle fulfilled orders. By default, Shopify doesn't allow us to edit fulfilled orders, so you can choose whether to create a new order or just hide the widget instead. I'm gonna keep it the same as it is and I'm going to click save. From now on, upsell items will be added to the original order instead of creating a new one. Let me show you an example. I will change the item reserve time to one minute so I can show you how it looks like when we add and remove items from an order. I'm gonna hit save. Let's head over to the store and place a test order. Great, so I've completed my test order and as you can see, I've set the thank you page to display the same product purchased with an additional 30% off if they purchased one more right now. Now, what we've done is instead of creating a new order, we're going to add this item to the original order number 1006. Let's see how it looks like. Perfect, and as you can see, this is the same product purchased with an additional discount. Let's complete the order and see how it looks like on the thank you page. Perfect, so we've completed the first order and added the upsell to the original order. As you can see, it said that the order was updated today. And the last thing that I want to show you is how it's going to look like when we try to edit the product, but the item reserve time is expiring. Let me show you. First, if we head over to the orders section on Shopify, you can see that order 1006 is now paid. Whenever I click the buy now button, we use the order editing API in order to add this item into the order. 
Now this item is added, but we still need to pay the extra $36 in order to complete the order. And if I'm going to refresh the page, this order 1006 is going to be partially paid. Now, in order to avoid this mess and in order to avoid you from shipping items that are not paid or just messing up your inventory and analytics, we're going to wait an extra minute, like I've set in the order reserve time. And once this time is over, we are automatically going to remove this item if the customer doesn't complete the payment. I'm just going to hold back for a minute and show you how it looks like when it's done. Okay, so it's been a minute and I haven't completed the purchase. Reconvert now automatically removed the added items. If I click here, you can see one item was added and one item was removed. If I head over back to the Shopify order page, I can scroll down and see that one item was added and one item was removed. If I scroll down to the timeline, I can see all the history of the order and there are basically three edits. The first edit was when we added the first item and completed the purchase. In this case, Reconvert did not remove the item that was added to the order. The second edit was the second upsell that we wanted to take, but after the reserve time was expired and the payment wasn't completed, there is another edit by Reconvert removing the additional item. Okay guys, this is it. You now know everything you need to know about how to add upsell items to the original order. If you still don't feel like you're 100% sure about how to use this option, please feel free to reach out to our live chat support 24 seven in the apps dashboard. If you haven't already, please make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you know whenever we release new videos and make sure to comment with any questions or suggestions for reconvert in the future. Also, it will really make our day if if you could take a few minutes to leave us a review on the app store and tell us what you think about the app until then have a great day and i'll see you on the next video